Imagine creating a 3D animated kids video like this. Oh, gotcha, bunny. Oh, Foxy, you scared me. What are you up to today? I have a super duper idea. Let's have a joke contest. A joke contest? That sounds like so much fun. Colorful characters, magical scenes, all without learning animation or spending thousands of dollars. I'm going to show you how to make a full 3D animated kids story video from scratch using only AI tools. No experience needed, no complicated process. So let's jump in. We're going to create this video in six easy steps. The first step, you need to generate your story ideas. If you already have a story in mind, you can skip ahead. But if you're starting from scratch, we can use an AI to story idea generator to help us come up with video ideas. I will leave the link to all the tools I'm using in the description below so that you can easily get access to them. To generate your story ideas, come to Gravity, right? From there, sign up. Once you sign up, this is their homepage here. Search for 3D animated kids story idea generator. From there, just type in a theme like adventure, friendship, magic, or joke, and let the tool whip up some creative concept for you. I will type in jokes and friendship. From there, just hit create. Gravity Write will provide you with 10 story ideas for kids. From there, you can pick any idea of your choice. Now that you have a one-line story idea, it's time to turn it into a full script. Come to Gravity Write Kids or Video Script Generator. Number one, type in or paste in a topic or title of your video. Once that is done, scroll down and choose the theme for your story. You have a number of options. We select Jock. From there, select the age group for your content. Once that is done, you need to write down the number of characters or specify them by their names. Once that is done, scroll down and choose the desired duration for your video. I'll say one minute. From there, go to advanced setting and select a specific language that you want for your story. Once that is done, click on create content. Gravity Write will describe the characters for your story, the background scene, and the entire script for your story what you want to do is copy the story and save it into a google doc now that we have the story let's create the voiceovers for our characters the two that we're going to use is 11 labs once we're here on 11 labs according to our story it has two characters first of all we'll start by generating audio files for our first character we'll go to our story we'll scroll down to our first script and we'll copy the first line for bunny come back to 11 labs and we'll paste the line there from there we'll come to voices and i'll select this one once selected I will click on Generate Speech. Hi everyone, it's me, Bunny. I'm looking for my best friend, Foxy. Have you seen him? Once I'm happy with the way it sounds, I'll click on the download button. From there, repeat the same process for all the lines for Bunny. Go back to your Google Doc, copy the second line, come back to 11 Labs, press the line there. From there, click on Generate. Where could he be? Maybe he's hiding. Once generated, click on download. Now that we are done generating audio files for both of our characters, this takes us to the next step where we need to generate characters. Remember, our story only has two characters, so we only need two characters and other supporting elements and character in our story. To create our characters, we'll come to Adobe Express. Adobe Express has got tons of characters that you can choose from. Just take your time and pick a character that you would love to use for your project. We'll come to category, We'll search for animals. We'll select this character. Once selected, we'll leave the background to be green just like that so that it can be easy for us to remove it. If your background has got a different color, just come to background here. From there, come to custom colors and select a green background. Once we select our first character, we need to lip sync our character with our audio file. To do that, we will first of all turn on Enhancer Speech. We can record our own voice from this platform. Since we've already generated our audio files, we'll click on the Browse button here and we'll select the first audio file for our character. Click on Open. Once uploaded, we wait for it to lip sync with our character. Once it's done, let me play it for you to see the way it looks. Hi everyone, it's me, Bunny. I'm looking for my best friend, Foxy. Have you seen him? Okay, that's just so amazing. To download it and save it into our PC, just click on the download button and it will be saved in your PC. From there, repeat the same process for all the audio files of your first character. Just click back, replace audio, click on browse, upload the second audio for your first character. Once generated, click on the download button for it to be saved in your PC. Now, to generate the audio file for your second character, click on back. While you are still in animal characters, scroll down and look for the second character that you would love to use in your project. Select Foxy. You can also increase the size of your character by dragging it outwards, like that. From there, we leave the background to green, then we click on Replace Audio. 
click on browse, select the audio for Foxy and click on open. Once it's generated, just click on the download button for it to be saved into your PC. From there, repeat the same process for all the audio files for your second character. And once you are done, this takes us to the next step where we need to generate animated backgrounds for our scenes. To do that, we'll come to Canva. Here on Canva, we'll select a video. Now, for you to fully understand the type of background that you must use for your video, what you want to do is go back to your story and go to your background scene. This will help you understand the type of a background needed for the first scene, second scene, up to the final scene of your video. So we'll come to Elements and we'll search for Color for Middle. From there, select the one that pleases your eyes. Once selected, right click on your mouse and click on Set Images Background. From there, you can add other elements that support the background. Elements like animated birds, butterflies, trees, something in that line. Come back to elements, look for birds, click on this filter button, scroll down a little bit and make sure that animated is selected and you'll see all these animated elements. From there, select any element of your choice. For example, select this bird, reduce its size a little bit. You can place it there or anywhere else. Not only birds, but you can also search for things like butterflies and animated trees and place them anywhere you'd love to place them. If you're happy with the way it looks, just click on share, click on download and save it in your PC as an MP4 video file. From there, repeat the same process of generating background scenes based on your story until you are done. Now that we are done generating our background scene, this takes us to the final step where we need to put everything together. And the tool that we're going to use is CapCut. You can use CapCut, you can use Premiere Pro or you can use Canva itself to blend everything together. Here on CapCut, we will first of all import all the media files that we've generated once imported, we're going to start with the first scene. Select the first image scene and drag it to the timeline. Once dragged, the next thing is to bring in the first character with the first line. Once that is done, to remove the green background, what we're going to do is select the video file and from there, come to remove background here on your right. Once selected, click on chroma key and from there, click on the pencil icon. Once clicked, drag your mouse to the video file you would love to remove the green background and just select it. If you can still see some green colors around your subject, you can increase the intensity to remove them. Once that is done, place your character anywhere you would love to. Let's play to see the way it looks. Hi everyone, it's me, Bunny. I'm looking for my best friend, Foxy. Have you seen him? Okay, that's just so fantastic. We're going to make sure that the duration of our background matches with our video. Based on our video, we bring in the second element. Now, here is the most important part. Bring in the background for the second scene. Bring in the character for the second scene. Remove the background color and place your character there. From there, let's play to see the way it looks. Oh, gotcha, bunny. Now, what we want to do is bring in the second character to the scene and drag it on top of your first character. From there, remove the background. Once removed, align them properly, like that. Now, since we have two characters, we need when one character is talking, the other one listens. And when the other one is talking, the other character listens as well. So we need to generate an audio file that is completely silent and lip sync it with our animated characters. Go back to Adobe Express, click on Browse and upload a silent audio file. As you can see, our character is just standing and listening. So we download this video file and we repeat the same process for our second character. Click on back, select your second character and click on preview. We click on download. From there, we upload both of these video files to CapCut. So according to our script, the first character talking is the fox. So what we're going to do is we'll select the video file of our bunny who is just listening and drag the video file to the scene like that. We'll delete this one. From there, we'll select our video file and we'll remove the background. We're going to place our bunny where we'd love to place it. From there, we're going to reduce the duration like that. Let's play to see the way it looks. Oh, gotcha, bunny. Now that it's the time for Bunny to speak, we'll add the video clip for Bunny and we'll remove the background. To align the position of the Bunny with the previous scene, what you want to do is just increase the video file of your previous scene like that. Select the scene you want to match it with and match it like that. Once that is done, just cut out the part of your video. Once that is done, we're going to bring in the second video file of our character who is just listening. Drag it to the timeline, remove the background and match the position of the first element with the previous scene. Once that is done, trim the part that you do not want from this side and leave it like that. From there, repeat the same process until you are done with all your video files. Once that is done, the next thing is adding caption to your video. Come to text select auto caption and click on generate caption. 
Once you generate your caption, come to text and edit it to your preference. Choose the font color, choose the font style that you want until the text is personalized to your preference. Once that is done, the final thing is adding sound effects and the background music. Just come to audio and search for a specific sound effect that you would love. For example, birds trimming. Just grab it and place it at the bottom like that. From there, reduce its volume so that it does not overpower your main character's sound. And once you're done, your video is ready to be uploaded on your YouTube channel. Let me play it so that you can see the way it looks. Hi everyone, it's me, Bunny. I'm looking for my best friend, Foxy. Have you seen him? Where could he be? Maybe he's hiding. Ooh, gotcha, Bunny. Oh, Foxy, you scared me. What are you up to today? I have a super duper idea. Let's have a joke contest. A joke contest? That sounds like so much fun. If you have a video suggestion, let me know in the comment section below. I'd really love to help you out. From here, God bless you. See you in this video where you can create amazing animated videos using only AI tools.